Okay, this is a short video. Uh, we're going to end up showing you how to use uh, F strings, map, and lambda to actually format uh, a list of floats with uh, fixed decimal places in a very short amount of code. Uh, but to work out with that, we're going to run through a fast history of formatting strings, which are all still available uh, in the current Python. Now, these, uh, what I'm showing you by the end of this, will require Python version 3.6 or above. Just so you're aware of that, that's when they introduced F strings. So we'll start out, uh, most basic printing uh, is using the print statement, and you can concatenate uh, using arguments, uh, messages, and expressions. Uh, so this is simple. And then as a next iteration, uh, they introduced the modulus operator is something most people learn in Python that you can format and the modulus operator takes a formatting string with uh, formatting placeholders marked by the uh, percent symbol and this is actually a, a, a old type of formatting that dates all the way back to uh, the C language and it's used in a lot of languages so this takes a tuple or a single argument after the percent and fills in those arguments into each of these placeholders. And you can look up how the formatting works for that. So let's run this, and this will format pi to three decimal places. So it's a lot friendlier than showing all the decimal places. Uh, so let's go to the next iteration. So here, uh, this is the string format method. The string format method behaves the same way as the modulus operator. Uh, you give it a list of parameters and it formats it. But the difference is the placeholders here uh, don't use percent, they're in curly braces. And they have a colon. So here you can actually put a variable name uh, and that would have to match a named variable on the format uh, method. So it actually copies, it evaluates the expression here which could be a named uh, variable. So we could say apple uh, equals here and we'd say apple here and when we run it it would fill in uh, the name of the expression. So after the colon, colon is where you put in your format code. So now in 3.6 they introduced the F string which is my favorite way of formatting things. So now you can just call the F string and do all of it. So you just specify the format and what you put after the curly brace here and be before the colon can be an expression using any of the available uh, parameters for the scope of where you are. Uh, so you basically can write any expression here. So I could do uh, math pi times 2 and we run that and we see it, it, it formats that as math pi times 2. So f expressions are I think the new cool thing on the block. Uh, so now I always wanted to uh, have this trouble. I have a list of uh, floats uh, and I want to print them out. So if you just print the list, well, sure it prints them, but you get all these long decimal places. Uh, so a better way to do that is I'll show you a trick here. So let me get rid of all this. Okay, so here we created our list. Here's our original print the list. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the, here you see the F expression. So this is inside of a lambda expression. And lambda, from here to here, is an unnamed function. It's defining a function without a name that takes one parameter and returns this expression. So it's evaluating x into the f expression and formatting it into a string. The map is one of the built-in uh, methods you can call that takes a function and something that's iterable, like a list, and it applies the function to every element of the list and creates a new iterable. And then I then uh, that is passed as a parameter to join, which is joining it with commas in between. And finally I print them out. So I print out using another f expression to say floats, uh, left square brace, print out what the lambda uh, this expression did, and then right square brace. So let's look at this run. And you can see now I have a nice list floats and I have three decimal places after everything. Uh, so hopefully you could you can use this expression. I think it's a nice, uh, simple, terse way of doing it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll see an icon in the lower right corner you can do that with.